Hey, this is Gregory Brown for R Unicorn, the Ruby Mendicant University video log. And I'm joined today by Jordan Byron, uh, my friend and co-worker who's been helping out with uh, building up some of the support software for RMU. Um, and a lot of this is stuff that uh, folks haven't had a chance to see yet because it's uh, helping me do the administrative side of things. When I first started RMU, I was doing everything in Google Document spreadsheets um, and also through emails and mailing lists and things like that. But as it turns out, there's a pretty, um, a, it's a pretty major undertaking to organize the courses. So as the needs have been coming up, Jordan's been trying to build some custom software for us. So uh, why don't you just uh, let people know what you've been working on so far? Sure. I mean, right now we're kind of working on, you know, kind of the skeleton of the app. Like Greg mentioned, we're building a lot of the admin-based stuff. So, you know, tracking, you know, students and courses and assignments and stuff like that. Um, one of the other things we're trying to build up, and this is something we're going to be working on further, is more of a community-based aspect for the students so they can see who's taking um, courses, see other students in other courses, so they can form groups together and they can collaborate. So if they want to do some studying outside of you know, the normal coursework, they can get together with those people and track that. Um, and then on the complete other side of this, we also want to build up a public facing um, you know area so that we can show people you know who our alumni are and you know options to you know get involved with the the program and everything so those are some of the things we're hoping to roll out in the next you know couple of months uh, hopefully sooner so I think the students are going to really benefit from that yeah I'd say it's really great uh, to have someone help with this because I'm spending maybe 30 hours or more a week just on content creation and on running the courses and interacting with students and while I could do some of this development stuff um, it would just be crazy to do both at once. It's also nice to have a little bit of a separation between it because um, having an extra person there that understands this stuff, um, especially Jordan's a stronger front-end web developer than I am, um, it, it's nice to be able to just communicate some needs and then have it filled in. Uh, it'll also be um, in the future, interacting with our students and allowing them to help. Um, do, you, do you have anything off the top of your head where they might be able to help? Um, well, we always have a bunch of like little tasks and a, a lot of the stuff that I did for Greg before, I kind of, you know, it's like a, oh, hey, we have five minutes, let's throw together this feature. So there's tons of like little cleanup stuff. And, and the great thing is that the project's online and it's open, right? So everybody, anybody can go and see it if you go to GitHub, it's on RMU, on that group. Um, so there's tons of stuff that I wanted to do, like there's, um, there's a, we've got some nested forms, uh, nested attributes in forms, and you know, there's, the, there's the nice way where you can put some JavaScript in there and have it dynamically add more, and we kind of, I, I gave you sort of a ghetto version of that, where it just has three, and if you want more, you reload and you get some three more or save. So, you know, if any student wants to pop in there and implement that JavaScript, you know, there's, there's tons of areas to do that. Um, and, Always in styling, um, I, I sometimes struggle with styling. I always try and improve, but I always like to see better, you know, newer ideas, different ideas, different ways of laying things out. So, you know, if you can pull on the project and you know tweak some of the UI and make it look pretty, I'm, you know, we'd love to see that kind of stuff too. So it doesn't have to be just a functional thing, but even you know some UI considerations um, would be good. So what we'll probably end up doing is in the next couple of weeks we'll start putting together a wish list because. The application is finally getting to the point where, from an administrative perspective, it's starting to be useful. Um, I was tracking the assignments and the student status through um, the September session. In October, we will actually have quite a bit more. Um, we'll be able to have the schedules for the assignments and meetings uh, available to the students in there. Um, if there's any changes to the assignments and stuff, we've been using GitHub to great effect. Um, but it's still, anytime there's a change, it's um, necessary to sort of let people know that it's there. So we'll have a means to do that. Um, and also, as we start to build some of these more community features, as students want to form um, study groups and things like that, it would be really great. Also, Jordan mentioned a little bit about the public facing stuff. I would really, um, I'd like to, as soon as we can, start getting a list out there of the resources that we're producing because through the course of doing RMU, we have the exercises themselves, which might be interesting to people, but we've also been building a lot of open source um, 
I mean, with the 25 students so far, each of their individual projects, I think 100% of them are actually on GitHub now. So it would be nice to have a place to put those links up yeah. there and that sort of thing. Um, so uh, the, unfortunately, there's been a lot going on, but you haven't seen that much just because we're going from the order of administrative needs first, then the internal community, then the public. But that all should change. And I think we're pretty much targeting a nicely um, made public website by RubyConf. Yeah, that's the big goal. Yeah. So Jordan's going to be here with me every Tuesday and Thursday, and he can sort of keep talking about these updates in the, in the tech that we're building. Um, we definitely want to make our administrative stuff. Right now, we're just sort of building it around the, the course itself. Um, but it, we would like to make it more generalized so that it could be used uh, probably at first by other technical training programs, but possibly later by general education mm -hmm. as well. Um, and Jordan and I are both committed to doing that probably uh, definitely as a free software license, likely something like that, a Faro GPL or something like that. So this stuff will be completely free software. And if you're interested in using software in an educational context, either if you're doing that yourself or if you have a coworker or a spouse or a friend that's doing educational stuff, be sure to contact us because as soon as we get to our, uh, a point where this stuff is relatively stable, we would love to open it up to the community as a whole yeah. and, and see how that goes. Um, so another interesting thing is that since Jordan has been committing his time, and I mean, it was at first, you know, throughout August, both of us were just doing an hour here, an hour there for our view, even though I was running a session, but now we're trying to set up some dedicated time. Um, and since we work together, uh, it's fairly easy for us to do that. But um, he's going to be putting in, I guess, uh, probably a day or two a week of mm -hmm. work on this. Yeah, you know? at least, yeah. So we have a lot more active support for this sort of stuff, and that's, that's really great. Um, but as a result of this, um, I think that probably in 2011, Jordan will teach uh, a couple web development courses to sort of give people the same sort of measured approach toward the fundamentals in web development as we're teaching in core Ruby stuff. So I don't know if you, I know that it's early stage, but yeah. I think you can give it a little yeah, teaser. We're, we're probably going to talk, you know, a lot about, you know, um, obviously kind of rail centric stuff because that's where a lot of people work in. But I mean, obviously a lot of these things can be applied elsewhere. Um, you know, Compass, I'll probably touch on Compass only because I've recently fallen in love with it and it just brings in so many awesome tools. Uh, JavaScript is going to be a huge section of the, of the course because you really can't build a modern website without any JavaScript in it. Um, and then, then some of the other basic fundamentals, you know, with Haml, um, you know, SAS obviously with Compass, um, stuff like that. So stay tuned, you know, we'll, we'll get you some good stuff in that course. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and the two of us are going to be working together to make sure that there's a, a decent amount of consistency in the teaching style. Um, we found that this sort of goal-driven, project-based approach for the core RMU course has been working fantastic. So we're going to figure out a way to put that into the web context. And uh, though you're going to get a bit of Jordan's style, the, the, the core way of teaching the course is going to stay the same. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think that at least for someone like me, where I actually don't have a whole lot of experience in that. Because when you look at it, there's a ton of information out there, and it's very easy to get just good enough, but yes. um, it really takes effort to dig out what's the uh, right way of doing these sort of things. It'll be really helpful to some of our students. I may even end up taking that course. <laughs> um, so I think, uh, unless you had anything else, that's probably good for today. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. So, I mean, like Greg said, you'll be seeing some new stuff coming out more rapidly, especially now with you know me putting in you know, some decent time during the week. So hopefully we'll get some stuff out there and people will use it and like it. All right, so that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll get back to those uh, five factors of improving education, and then we'll have Jordan back on Thursday. Um, but if you have any questions, let us know. And until next time, uh, thanks. Bye.